We're going to talk a little bit more about Avogadro's number here. And I know that Avogadro's number is sometimes a very mysterious thing to people. And also when you hear the word mole, what is a mole in chemistry? So here I hope to make that very clear to you. Let's say we have a single atom of hydrogen. What is the mass of that? And the mass of a single hydrogen atom is approximately equal to an AMU. So that's actually the unit we use to measure the mass of a single atom. In the case of a hydrogen atom, it would be a pretty close to an AMU. Now, if you had a whole mole of hydrogen atoms, the mass would be one gram. Likewise, if we had a single helium atom, the mass of a single helium atom would be about four atomic mass units, AMUs or atomic mass units. The reason for that is because a helium atom has two protons and two neutrons in nucleus. That's a total of four nucleons. Since each proton and each neutron has a mass of about one AMU, the four together have a mass of four AMUs. And if you have a whole mole of them, the mass of a mole of helium atoms would be four grams. For carbon atoms, if they are carbon-12, which means they have six protons and six neutrons, the mass of a single carbon-12 atom is exactly equal to 12 AMUs by definition, and the mass of a mole of carbon-12 atoms has a mass of exactly 12 grams. So what is a mole? A mole is a number, just like a dozen is 12, and a gross is 144. So for example, if you write, uh, if someone asks you, what is a dozen equal to? You say, oh, I know that, that's 12. Dozen eggs, 12 eggs. Dozen oranges, 12 oranges. Dozen pencils, 12 pencils. What is a gross? A gross is a dozen dozen, so that means 12 times 12, or 144. So we use the word dozen to represent 12. We use a gross to represent 144. We use a mole to represent a really big number. How big a number? So big that if you have that many carbon atoms, the mass in grams would be the mass of a single carbon atom in atomic mass units. And the question is, what is that number? Well, that took a while to figure out, but eventually they did figure it out. And so now we know that a mole is equal to 6.022045, if you want to be extremely accurate, uh, times 10 to the 23rd. Typically, we just simply write 6.02 or 6.022 times 10 to the 23. So we normally use that as the representation of Avogadro's number. It's not an exact number. It's a number that's been experimentally figured out. And so we now know that if you have this many hydrogen atoms, the mass of that would be one gram, which would be the same in AMUs for a single hydrogen atom. If you had this many helium atoms, the mass would be four grams, which would be the same numerically as the number of AMUs for a single helium atom. And if you have this many carbon-12 atoms, you would have a mass of 12 grams of carbon atoms. Numerically, the same number as the number of AMUs a single carbon atom would have. So it's simply the number of molecules we want to multiply, um, or the number we want to multiply one by to get the number of molecules or the number of atoms or the number of anything such that the mass in grams is numerically equal to the mass in AMUs. So it's not mysterious, it's just something that we needed like that to make that conversion. Now, how we can also use that number is, for example, if you, have, if you want to know the mass of one carbon atom, that is equal to the mass of a mole of atoms, so that is equal to the molar mass divided by Avogadro's number. And now the molar mass means the mass of a mole. A mole is Avogadro's number of those atoms. So this is equal to 12 grams, because we know that one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12 grams. Divide that by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And that is equal to 12 AMUs. Now also, of course, if you want to express that in grams, you take 12 and you divide it by 6.022 e to the 23. And you get, that's equal to 1.99 times 10 to the minus 21 grams. So that's also another way of converting the mass of a mole of atoms to the mass of a single atom in grams. So it's a conversion factor from 
m used to grams, or it's another way to calculate the mass of a single atom if you know the mass of a mole of atoms. All you have to do is divide by Avogadro's number, and you have the mass of a single atom. And that's how we can explain Avogadro's number.